Hey Gage Lake, hope you're having a great Wednesday. Uh, we're back on Wednesdays, Wednesday in the Word. And I hope that uh, your day is going well. What a beautiful, warm summer week we're having. And uh, I'm ready for fall. Um, I'm ready for cold weather. I know I just probably got a several dislikes for saying cold weather. But I am. I'm really, I'm really excited for cold weather. Um, so if you could pray that that comes sooner rather than later. No, I'm just kidding. No, um, uh, I hope you're having a great end of August. And as we uh, turn our attention to the fall, I hope that um, as we navigate, continue to navigate these days, that uh, you're walking with Christ and you're uh, following him. I uh, just wanted to share a verse or two with you. Uh, today I'm looking at 1 Peter chapter number 3 and uh, some very famous verses that you've probably heard before. Uh, 1 Peter chapter 3 uh, this year I have the opportunity to teach uh, apologetics in Bible at school and 1 Peter 3.15 is the theme verse for apologetics. Um, uh, it's really focused on what apologetics are. Uh, some people have the misconception that apologetics means that you're apologizing uh, and that's not the case. The uh, apologetics comes from the Greek word apologia which means it, it first meant to make a statement, but it came to mean uh, to give a defense, to, to defend what you believe. And as Christians, we should defend what we believe. Um, we should be able to, to uh, understand and, and answer questions that are given to us and to face uh, difficulties or, or whatever, but to be able to uh, give a defense. Uh, Jude tells us to contend for the faith, to to hold fast to the faith that we have, to to fight for it, because, well, this is what we believe. Um, so in 1 Peter chapter 3, uh, it says in verse 15, but in your hearts, honor Christ the Lord as holy, always being prepared to make a defense to anyone who asks you for a reason for the hope that is in you. Yet do it with gentleness and respect, having a good conscience, so that when you are slandered, those who revile your good behavior in Christ may be put to shame. For it is better to suffer for doing good, if that should be God's will, than for doing evil. And in verse 15, the, the part where it says, always be prepared to make a defense. That's where you see the Greek word apologia, which is where we get the word apologetics. That as Christ, to honor Christ the Lord as holy means that we as God's followers are ready to make a defense. How can you trust the Bible? How can you believe in, in Jesus? Did he really die? Did he really rise again from the grave? Uh, what do you mean salvation is by faith only? Questions that are asked of us, we should be ready to be answering them. We should be prepared to answer them. That verse, always be prepared. You thought the Boy Scouts came up with that phrase. No, Peter did 2,000 years ago. Always be prepared to give, to make a defense. And then it says, to, to make a defense to anyone who asks you for a reason for the hope. That, how can you go through this pandemic with hope? How can you, you know, if people are looking at you because, and by the way, they should see you as someone who is walking through difficult times with hope. And they say, why? How do you have hope during uncertain times? Because I honor Christ Jesus as Lord. I'm ready to give an answer. But I think that sometimes it gets overlooked is the last phrase of that verse. Yet do it with gentleness and respect. Think about your interactions with other people. Has it been with gentleness and respect? I don't know. I, I think back to my conversations and I have to question myself. Did I respond in gentleness and respect? As we share Christ with others, which is making a defense for what we believe, as we share the hope that we have, are we doing it with gentleness and respect? Because the Holy Spirit uses these times to work in other people's lives. I hope that this this week is a, a blessing for you. I hope that that as you uh, head toward the weekend, that uh, you spend some time daily in the Word of God. Uh, if you have any questions or if there's any things that you need prayer for, send us an email or a phone call or a text. Let us know. 
Uh, you continue to pray. Our board meets this Sunday to discuss some of the things as we transition to the fall. Uh, I know that Awana is going to be starting up and small groups will be starting back up and uh, different things, children's church, and uh, we're trying to look at navigating all of that. So uh, you pray for us and uh, we hope that uh, we, as we follow Christ, that he first and foremost is in front of everything that we do. Uh, have a great day, everybody, and we'll see you next week.